I was born 14 years and two days before that video was taken on October 7th, 2008. My parents are Jonathan and Megan McKinney. For the first years of my life, my family lived with my aunt and uncle and my cousins Keila and Johnny. At first, there was just two of us, then three, and then my sister Sydney was born. There's too much of us, so we had to move into Montecito Village. That's where I learned my love of swimming. Unfortunately, I don't like swimming anymore, but I was still a very active kid. I love to go to the park and I love to play games. I also love to go watch sports games. Then when I was four, I started dance. I was in two recitals. I love dance so much. Also when I was four, I started school at St. Mary's Star of the Sea School. I was in multiple musical productions, like the reenactment of Christmas where I was an angel, and where the wild things are, where I was a wild thing. Not sure what I was in that picture, but it's fine. Anyways, I got to go on tons of fun field trips, and I even got to take my flat Stanley to the zoo and to the pier as part of a little project. I also made so many friends that I'm still friends with to this day. Then I graduated kindergarten and I went on to first grade. In first grade, me and my sister were both baptized, and I also started Girl Scouts, where I sold cookies to even Coach Campbell, who's a security guard at our school. I also watched Frozen when it came out, which made me think I could sing, even though I can't. But I think it was just the fun part of creating songs in my head and just being creative, which I love the most. Then in third grade is when things changed. I participated in my school's track meet at Cathedral Catholic High School. As soon as I stepped foot on that campus, I knew that that's where I was gonna go to high school. I loved it so much and I wanted to go there so bad. Then in fourth grade, I participated in the track meet again and got third place in the 400 meter relay, third place in the long jump, and second place in the 200 meter sprint. After that, I started rec soccer, which I loved so much. It was my favorite thing that I had done so far. Then after rec, I tried out for All-Stars, which I made the team. After All-Stars, I played softball, which I sucked at, but then I played competitive soccer after making that team. That season, we won the league championship and we made it to finals and tons of tournaments. Then a few years later, eighth grade came. In eighth grade, I wanted to make the most amount of memories that I could because I knew I'd be leaving the school that year. I'd been there for nine years and I loved it so much. I also wanted to make the most out of soccer. That year I became team captain and I even got to play with other teams like my cousin's team, which I'm on now. I'm also a captain on my cousin's team, which is an age group above me. I love my friends so much and I think that's what made my old school so special. I try to make as many memories as possible with them because they mean so much to me. But before eighth grade ended, I had to make a very serious decision. I had already taken tests for scholarships at Cathedral Catholic High School and I had applied for financial aid. It would be too expensive and I would have to leave the house at 5.45 every morning, which means I wouldn't be able to help my mom with my sister who would be born a month before school started. I decided to go to Oceanside High School so I could play soccer with my cousin and my teammates. Also my dad went to Oceanside High School, so I guess I could sort of carry on his legacy, especially through sports. Then I graduated 8th grade, which is what my school calls it instead of promotion. It was so amazing and so bittersweet. I love my classmates so much, not only because they're just my classmates, but they're also my best friends and they're like family to me. Whether they're my teammates, my classmates, or family, my friends mean so much to me and they're the most important thing in the world. Then, this past summer, I played in a 19U tournament with the Oceanside Varsity Coaches Club team. I also kept practicing soccer. There's been some rough parts, but there's also been some really good parts that I'm really proud of. I also got to play in a beach soccer tournament and I've continued to play beside my cousin. I also decided to work on my art. Even though it isn't perfect, I still want it to be the best that it can be. Before making this video, I wasn't sure what my personal legend was, but then I realized that it doesn't have to be a specific career or job. I realized that my personal legend is to spend time with the people I love the most and to be part of a team. 
and in general just to work with people. Whether it's a business team, a sports team, or even starting a family, I think that's what my personal legend is. To spend time with the people I love, and to just be with people in general because that's what makes me so happy. I'm so grateful for all the friends that I have, and I realize that this is an amazing experience to realize my personal legend and what I want to do with life. I'm not sure what specific career I would want to be in my life. Hopefully something that has to do with creativity or art, because that's what I love the most.